Hey, what's up guys? Jamie here. And I'm sorry I haven't made a video in a really long time. The computer over there has been giving me a lot of problems, so I am filming on my iPhone. So I'm sorry if there's no cuts or edits or if I stutter or mess up or don't know what to say. That is why. And all my social media links are down below, so after this video, you should go follow, like. I have a Twitter, Instagram, and a Facebook fan page, so like and follow. So I wanted to talk about The Undertaker's Streak. I talked about it in a previous video, but I wanted to talk about uh, what I thought, I guess, about it, or what Backstage News has been saying. And first it was The Undertaker's decision, then it was Vince McMahon's decision, then it was made four hours before the event actually started, and then that's not the case now. It is the case that they, he didn't tell anyone before four hours, or that's what they believe in the company. And uh, I honestly don't think anyone knows. I only think that Vince McMahon and The Undertaker know. They must have had a discussion together. Undert uh, not Undertaker. Vince McMahon didn't just go, okay, Undertaker's losing. Okay, bye. You know, something like this is huge news. The Undertaker losing is the biggest thing that has ever happened in this company. It is so shocking that The Undertaker lost at WrestleMania. It's just something that is unheard of and something that just doesn't happen, and it actually did. Um, something like that, you can't undo. You can't undo The Undertaker losing. You can you can always have a better match next year or a better build-up next year if he has a really bad match, bad build-up, and he wins. At least he has the streak. Something like that has to be discussed, and it just can't be, okay, he's losing, bye, you know? It has to be discussed. Something like that is huge. Like, if you regret it down the road, or if you regret it immediately after, you can't undo it. What's done is done. Now that the Undertaker lost, there's no way that you could undo it. I mean, he lost, he lost, and that's something you really, really have to discuss. I mean, you just can't. He lost by. And you would think Undertaker probably did have a big say in the streak ending. He gets to handpick his opponents every year. He gets to choose when he wants to come. So I'm pretty sure he probably had a say when, if his streak was going to end or not. I either think that it was totally on the Undertaker, or Vince presented him with the with the idea because they're not going to go against Undertaker. If he wants the streak, then it's going to end. If he doesn't, he doesn't. Pretty sure Vince probably presented his, to him the idea, and if he didn't want to do it, he didn't want to do it. There's always next year or whatever it may be. And actually, Undertaker's match wasn't actually an amazing match. And right from the start, though, it felt really strange. It didn't feel right. And maybe, and also, to be fair, though, this was Brock Lesnar, who wrestled very aggressively. I'm not saying he's bad, but he's very rough in the way he wrestled. And then there's Undertaker, who needs someone who can help carry him through the match and not kill him, you know, because of his age and everything. So that also might have done with it. But it felt weird during the match. And you also have to realize he was hurt during it. But but you got to give props to him. He had a concussion. And he still wrestled to the end. Sure, it wasn't a long match. And it wasn't a great match. But he still sucked it up and wrestled for you. And then you had that shocking outcome. Um, so, anyway. It would have been great to hear whenever, whenever he is retiring or if he is retiring I don't really know um, if he is in fact retiring it would have been great for the Hall of Fame for him for it to be like the Undertaker the only one to ever have a streak Un to retire undefeated that would have been great to see 22 and 0 or whatever and 0 for, for going into the Hall of Fame but at least now you can say for the Hall of Fame that The Undertaker is the only person to ever go 21 consecutive wins at WrestleMania. He's the only one to ever do that. He's the only one to have that many wins. Excuse me. And no one will ever be able to come close. No one will ever be able to have a streak like that again. If The Undertaker can't have the streak, then nobody can. So I guess you could kind of say that for it. And as for my reaction, which... I never would have thought in a million years that I would have to film my reaction to the streak ending. That didn't even cross my mind. I always film my reaction to him returning. Never would I have to have thought 
to film my reaction to the streak ending. That was just something unheard of. And I always I always thought that I hoped to see The Undertaker defend his streak before he retired. Not if the streak ended. It never crossed my mind to either a race against time before he retired or before the streak ended. That never even crossed my mind. But I hope that if he... I, I'm, I'm conflicted. Like, I don't want him to retire, but I, at the same time I do because there's nothing left to prove. And The Undertaker's streak was something that people went after if they really had nothing else to prove. If they won all the championships, then the one thing to do is go after the streak. And Undertaker has done everything. He literally has done everything. He's done stuff that no one has ever done. And, um, and now sadly it's over, but I guess everyone goes out in a loss, and I guess not even The Undertaker can be undefeated. So, and as for what's been going on in wrestling, it hasn't been that bad. It usually declines after WrestleMania. I did enjoy some things for Payback, for, you know, Brie and Ryan. Um, I enjoyed The Shield versus uh, Evolution and John Cena versus The Wyatt. And technically, the calendar starts for WWE after WrestleMania, which you would think they sh would try to do better, try to, you know, do well, and try to make it entertaining. Not just because it's WrestleMania, that you have to make it. it should be like that all the time. But I'm starting to hear the TV in the background. It's really distracting me right now. So I'm trying really, really hard to keep my uh, thoughts together. But comment down below on what you thought of WrestleMania. Not WrestleMania. I don't know what I'm talking about. Comment down below on what you think about wrestling so far. What you thought of Payback. What you thought of the streak ending. And what your reaction was. I was shocked. Didn't want to believe it. I literally thought someone was going to come out and restart the match. That's what my thinking was. Or I was just in denial and didn't want the streak to be over. But that's what I was thinking. And I just I was done at that point. I went upstairs. I still watched it. But it was still so hard to get into any of the matches afterwards. And I was so proud of Daniel Bryan. But I just couldn't feel myself to be happy because of the streak ending. But um, comment down below on what you what I talked about in this video and thumbs up for summertime, thumbs up for The Undertaker, and yeah, bye. You know what? I'm gonna do my usual outro. Ah. Why is okay, bye.